In the coming sections, we will cover five data mining techniques. These techniques were chosen based on practical experience, where most business problems tend to have a solution which has a combination of these five techniques. The first of these techniques is the hypothesis test. It's considered as your very first introduction to statistics. So if you're an absolute beginner, a hypothesis test is where you start. In this section, we will cover basic descriptive statistics, probability distributions, sampling, simple details like that, which help us construct answers for business problems. This leads us into the basics of predictive modeling. The first such technique is the linear regression. The linear regression is used when we want to compute a number like sales or it could be the price of a house. Most of these numbers are decided by a lot of independent factors. So the sales of a product could depend on what was the brand, what was its price in the market and how many ads were placed for example. And if you were to study how these three factors influenced sales, you could use a linear regression in that scenario. A logistic regression very similar to a linear regression is used when we try to understand how multiple factors influence an outcome. The key difference though is that a logistic regression does not estimate a value. Instead, a logistic regression is used to predict if an event will occur. An example could be when you apply to a bank for a credit card. The bank will run a model which will predict if you are likely to be a good customer or are you likely to default on the credit card. The fourth technique, cluster analysis, is a great solution, not very statistical in nature as it is an algorithmic function. It is used to find items which are similar to each other. An example could be if you ever bought a product on Amazon, you usually find a recommendation at the bottom saying, since you bought this book, you might be interested in these other three books which people like you have purchased. So a solution like this would be formed using a cluster analysis. The very final technique is factor analysis. You would use factor analysis when you have very large number of variables in your data set it very often becomes difficult to analyze a data set where you have hundreds of columns. To make it easier, we group together columns that are similar in nature, similar to the color coding on your screen right now. This would be factor analysis useful in big data sets. And with that, we complete our tour of what you would be learning in this course five different techniques, five separate applications, but together they help you think statistically.